Up to five Thank minutes. you, Presiding Officer. The culture of secrecy, spin and cover-up at the heart of the SNP has been laid bare for all to see with the recent revelations about their finances. Now, I have to say I find it extraordinary that the SNP's sole defence is to demand membership numbers from the opposition when they are being investigated by Police Scotland. This is serious and it's not about their membership numbers. Now, we cannot comment on the substance of the investigation as this is a live police inquiry, but suffice to say, if you had told me 10 weeks ago that I would witness the resignation of the First Minister, the arrest under caution of her husband, Peter Murrell, former Chief Executive of the SNP, the arrest of Colin Beatty, MSP, former SNP Treasurer, and a blue forensic tent on the front lawn of Nicola Sturgeon's home, I would have said you were delusional. But that is indeed what has happened. This is a shameful episode in Scottish politics. People who believed in the SNP have been badly let down, but so too have the people of Scotland. The governing party is mired in scandal, which is a complete distraction from focusing on the people's priorities. And what we are witnessing now is the arrogance of a party who have been in power for far too long, thinking they are untouchable and treating this parliament and the public with contempt. Now, I know many people will say that the party and government are two separate things, but that is simply not true in this case. The culture that pervades the SNP as a party pervades the SNP-led Scottish Government too. They are inextricably linked. No wonder when you consider that the top two positions were occupied by a husband and wife team. But let me illustrate that and take you back to the inquiry into the Scottish Government handling of harassment complaints, otherwise known as the Salmond Inquiry. And let me start by reminding the Chamber of Nicola Sturgeon's words. The inquiries will be able to request whatever material they want, and I undertake today that we will provide whatever material they request. My commitment is that the Government and I will fully cooperate. 17th of January 2019. What hollow words, presiding officer. The SNP in the guise of Nicola Sturgeon, John Swinney and her chief of staff, Liz Lloyd, blocked every attempt by the committee to get information. It dragged on for months, if not a full year, as they defied the will of the committee and of parliament at every turn. Letters from the parliament's lawyers were effectively ignored and it took the threat of a successful vote of no confidence in John Swinney to get the material released. Evading scrutiny and accountability underpinned much of the SNP's approach to the Salmond inquiry. The use of SNP emails and WhatsApp groups by cabinet ministers, the former FM and special advisers, was widespread to avoid formally recording ministerial discussion and decisions. The dissembling, the dishonesty, the duplicitous behaviour on the part of government was routine. And then there were the memory lapses the inability to recall or remember from people who, it has to be said up to that point, had the sharpest of memories for details. And then there was the incompetence and a new low. The leaking of material by the then Deputy First Minister and his special advisers to journalists writing a book about the inquiry after the inquiry that had not even been shared with the inquiry in the first place. But of course, Whilst this breached the Ministerial Code of Conduct and the Special Advisers Code of Conduct, the then First Minister, Nicola Sturgeon, chose to do nothing about it. Such contempt for Parliament. Presiding Officer, it is time for an overhaul of the Parliament's ability to hold this Government to account. Scottish Labour have a plan for doing just that. Let's start by seeing fewer Cabinet Secretaries and Ministers. Let's see binding sanctions for breaches of the Ministerial Code. Let's see more power for committees to compel witnesses and evidence and less tribalism from members that try to deny the evidence presented to committee before their very eyes. And yes, let's have a right of recall for MSPs that break the law, whoever they are. Presiding Officer, the SNP are tarnishing the reputation of this Parliament and of Government. They are mired in scandal, they are divided and fighting like ferrets in a sack. They are contemptuous of the Scottish people and have completely lost focus on the people's priorities. It's time they were held to account, it's time for a Scottish election and it's most certainly 
time for change. I move the amendment in my name.